Right, um, welcome back to the Western Wild and today Cartech is going to be working for me because we have a rather large sugar beet field to harvest. Um, we've got it on half time because this is one of, a bit like we did with Cartex baling, this is kind of an additional video. Um, since the last time we were here I had at least one of these. I have accidentally brought one of these unintentionally. Um, and I'll put some pictures up on the screen of the prices. I have also, um, if I can get to it, brought the Massey Ferguson 8S. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it was totally worth it. I'll put the price on the screen um, and I released the Brantner Power Tube trailer as well. Um, and we also have Cartex Alice Chalmers down the other end with my trailer on the back because there's going to be quite a lot of carting, I think. Um, and the plan is to couple headlands up here and then crack into it. So should we get to work, mate? Yep, let's go for it. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the Western Wilds with myself, Cartech and Disturbed. You'll have seen that we've uh, made a start on uh, the sugar beet harvest. We are doing three, maybe four headlands and then we'll start cutting into the field. Yeah, so using this bit of kit, couldn't actually tell you what it's called. There we go, it's the Fort Schritt. There we go. So we are labouring today. So yeah, all good. So a bit different, different piece of equipment. But yeah, we can uh, follow back now with Disturbed and uh, crack on with this harvest. Now as previous uh, bits of cooperative we've done we've uh, skipped the next day and uh, slowed the time right down just so that uh, neither of us are really disadvantaged by uh, helping the other out which is good this is quite a well yielding crop and uh, we're already 20% full back up and then try and head down here and we'll start the cuttings into the field very soon. In fact it looks like that trailer's already done so what we might do is start down the left hand side and uh, yeah we can crack on helping Disturbed. You'll notice he's got a brand new tractor. He's got himself an 8S with his uh, soybean money. It's a very decent upgrade. He's clearly doing well for himself. Right, I'll head down to the end here and um, yeah, catch up with you in a little while. See if we get any collisions with the uh, dangerous driving of Disturbed. This is uh, a bit close. Yep, yep, it's closer than I, I would like to have been. I'm just going to put my pipe in so I don't get caught on the tree. see if I can get rid of that tree. Yeah, I've just folded my auger in thinking I was going to clobber it. Like in your PPE. Still doesn't want to let me get rid of it. It'll, uh, you'll just have to try and work around it, I think. Yeah, no problem. Can get past it, all right. I'll just uh, get you empty, and then I'll jump back in mine. Okay. So it's going to be. Uh, I think definitely think I'm just going to stick the other one on a worker, maybe, and because uh, I've already taken. Over 10,000 litres out of yours. Well, ours is okay. Shall I, um, shall I take my tractor off your trailer so you can connect between the two? Or uh, uh, can do, yeah. And uh, I don't know if you want to move move the trailer a little bit first, so you've got room to turn around at that end. Yeah, yeah, probably not a bad idea actually.
this is going to be quite a big job. Yes, yeah, you don't if, say. <laughs> if we get to a point where we've had enough and it's not done, I'll just carry it on when we do it properly in the next video. I'll just get workers going on it. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm all right to, uh, you know, repay the favour of your yeah. assistance with the bail-in, so. Thank you. Pleasure. It's strange, they almost sound like they're electric, apart from the occasional rattle from the engine. Yeah, they sound, um, yeah, almost hydrostatic, don't they? Yeah. 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 Got that nice whine to them, like you, you hear the sprayers. Yeah, yeah, I guess maybe it is. Maybe it's the, uh, yeah. The John Deere have got cool, cool, um, I don't know whether it's new or not. It certainly seemed new when they, the guy that I was watching was talking about it, where they've got, I might have even spoken about it before, where they've got the, uh, the John Deere 8R, that rather than using the motor to drive hydraulics, it generates electricity. So then uh, I have a big electric motor to drive the tractor. Oh, uh, how clever. And uh, they had it set up on a big slurry spreader, which also had electric motors and it passed power back to that so i think of the five axles four were driven oh wow so it was like eight wheel drive cool very it clever was nuts. Yeah. yeah yeah and somehow it was supposed to be much more efficient <laughs> yeah. there's some madness there somewhere in the logic isn't there <laughs> yeah I, I don't get how Using an using a diesel engine to generate electricity is more efficient than using a diesel engine to drive something. No, because there has, no. there has to be power losses in there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. God, the, you're right. These turn like barges, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's their one downside, but yeah, for what they cost, it's. See if I can get some GPS oh, running on this side. These are pretty cool machines, to be fair. Decent working speed. And um, yeah, it's far with no idea how far we're through the field, but it's yielding well. So. We'll crack on and uh, catch up in a little bit. Oh dear, and I'm full. I am on my way. Oh, I'm just going to just dump it in the other trailer. Okay. Do that then. It works. How much have you got so far? And what's your prediction for yield? I can't remember what I was predicting for yield. I've got a prediction for what I think it's worth. Okay. Um, based on... A, wow, my harvester is already 80% full. Um, based on what I made off of the barley and kind of... Or how much barley I got and therefore how much sugar beet I think I'll get. But I can yeah. only remember the value. And I worked out that I think it might be worth about a quarter of a million. Nice. Which, given what I've just spent on new tractors and harvesters and stuff, is uh, quite useful. Yeah, absolutely. I was uh, mentioning about your uh, shiny new purchase. Yeah, and I think we already must have about 50,000 litres. I going to say about that, it's uh, going rather well, isn't it? Yeah, I think I worked out that it would just about fit in the silo. <laughs> just so I'm about, yeah. <laughs> 400 and something thousand litres. Mad, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll leave this harvester on a worker. And yep. I'll just run between the two, between you and him and uh, or her. And try and keep you both moving okay yep sounds like a plan 
and then when I come to sell it, I don't know what the hell I'm going to lease. Uh, yeah, that's um, might have to be a lorry. I'd say that's probably a lorry job that hopefully one that will fit in the silo. Yeah, that's sort yeah. to think about. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that is, that actually, it's not too bad getting a lorry in. Um, assuming the scales are the same as 19, because I use these silos a lot on 19. Yeah. Um, and you can fairly easily get a lorry in and out. So. Good. Well, so, no, not good. I wanted you to struggle with it. <laughs> it's like, uh, the the problem is tipping a lorry in there. Yes, yeah, you get the collision, don't you, on the roof? Yeah. yeah. Um, th the collisions aren't as good as they were in ninety. I think in ninety you could lift the trailer, the trailer could tip up into the roof, uh, yeah, um, like into the the eaves of the roof. Whereas it can't in twenty two. It just hits a hard collision. Yeah. The guttering's obviously more reinforced. Yeah. Glad we have crop destruction on. I was just about to say that. Here comes the re the realism. <laughs> yep. Yep. There is zero realism involved in this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was, <laughs> I was um, doing some recording the other day, and uh, I think when it'll come out, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, at least the sulky um, spreader. And uh, uh, and then meet one. Yeah, yeah, and then um, just to use some a different, and yeah. then um, bought one, and uh, was trying to fill it up with the fertilizer that I bought, and I got a bag left, so I just chucked it in the back of the spreader. <laughs> oh dear! And then was asking later on about mowing setups in the UK and what people thought was realistic. So yeah, yeah, yeah. tale of two halves. <laughs> yeah. I, I was surprised actually because the the 50 meter spread width on that is real. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't think it was. Yeah. Can't yeah, I, I I went and did some reading on their website, and and the 50 meters is real. It seems, um, really. I mean, I was only doing a contract, so the I'm guessing it's just standard fertilizer application, but it didn't seem to go down that quick either i haven't watched no, your fertilizer no. spreader wars video no, I don't know it, if you used it in that i didn't because it does have normal fertilizer usage uh i think yeah um maybe it's no, just because well, i'm used to precision farming now and yeah i don't know yeah. i think so because I'm, I'm using no I'm, no I'm not i was gonna say I'm, I'm sure i'm using it somewhere and it feels like it doesn't use very much yeah exactly yeah but it's not in the the cheaty category of the uh, the lizard WMXL, yeah. Um, which I have just bought on Greenlands, which might be a spoiler for when this comes out. Uh, yeah, you have to think now, don't you? It's like, well, I'm going to record that versus when this yeah. will come out on a Sunday, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, I, I, this bit will mostly be time lapsed in mine anyway, because yeah. uh, I'm I'm going to try and have to start cutting out some of our random chatting <laughs> yes yes i was um well i might at my own as well to be fair i was properly rambling on the other on the last one and cut about 20 minutes out of it so i uh i started off really well um with the intent of doing lots of time lapsing and then yeah. we spent about an hour and a half talking and it's like i don't want to cut it out yeah yeah it's the bit that Oh, we both enjoyed it, about everybody else. But, yeah, so uh, I, I don't know how much of this I'll leave in and how much I'll time lapse out. But yeah, yeah, I guess that's the thing. Now, well, we can you can do it, can't you? You can add bits in, time lapse it, yeah, whenever you want with it, be able to disable the sound and stuff. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I guess we, in, you know, in theory, you could be really advanced and keep the audio running at normal time and time lapse some of the video behind it to fill in for when we're not talking. Could do, yes. I'd get when confused with enough, myself though. When we've had enough of each other and uh, Oh back up, back up. Sorry. Can't get the start. <laughs> for what I'm paying you. Peanuts. Not even. 
Uh, you, you can have a couple of litres of sugar beet. It's <laughs> ever so much. <laughs> I think I think I'll have a little bit spare. <laughs> yeah, you might well do. You don't fancy a sugar factory like you've got on uh, no Greenland's no, then. No, by, by the time it's processed, you'll uh, you'll be a multi-billionaire unless you let me have a really cheaty one. Is there a really cheaty one out yet, or have you got to tweak it? One. Yeah, I was going to say I you can make can a really it, cheaty can. one. I can make it as cheaty as I want. Yeah. <laughs> it's the. Uh, once you know a little bit, particularly with how it works in 22, you can make whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's so much easier with with productions being built in and not having to use the global company stuff. It's so much easier to do all that kind of thing. Um, I I did a little bit of editing of it in 19, but not to the extent that I would consider doing it now. No, no, no you mean, yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's. I kind of play with the brewery, and it's just kind of like, well, for me anyway, it's just trial and error. I didn't mess yeah. it up too much, and it worked a bit quicker. So that's how yeah. you learn. Exactly. Um, yeah. You know, the, all, all of the stuff that I do, I've learned from just going. I wonder if I can make it do that. Yeah. And as you do it more, it just becomes easier. Yeah. No, it's, well, it's like um, anything, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Practice. Yeah. It's the same with that. The uh, the one about contracts. It was only from us, from us chatting. I was like, I wonder if you can work out which fields are allowed contracts on them or not. Yeah. So, it's, oh, it's yeah. that that does it. Yeah. Something bizarre going on with contracts, like we were saying on Discord yeah. earlier. I mean, I had... Yeah, with them vanishing. Yeah, because instead of sleeping, I've actually tried just speeding up time, got to midnight, and a, a seeding contract appeared... At one minute past, that had disappeared, and there was yeah. then a fertilising contract for that field. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I um, after Rob asked on Discord, I yeah. went on to Greenlands. I slept until eight o'clock. Mm. I opened up the contract menu. There were two contracts. By two minutes past eight, they had both gone. It's um, bizarre, isn't it? I, yeah. There's got to be something in the code that. It's, it's something after the 1.5 update has changed it. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I agree um, with that. I slept until 6, and they did then hang around for a bit. Oh, okay. Um, I that's, had if a, they're, that's if they're still there at 6 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, so I, I slept until 6 a.m., and I think I had about 8 contracts pop up. Right, okay. Um, and I suspect, um, from what Smock was saying yesterday, I think, I think there's two windows where they spawn, maybe, yeah. two times. Um, and if you're not really on it for picking them up when they spawn, they're gone. You missed out, yeah. Yeah, I think that... I, I suspect what they've done is because contracts... or because fields tend to hang around un, without things being done to them for a very long time, Yeah, they've maybe tried to address that. But they've uh, got yeah, a bit overexcited... Done. Yeah. In how quickly the contracts complete themselves yeah. if you don't take them on. Yeah, I think, yeah, that window seems to have closed somewhat, doesn't it? Yeah, it, sh it feels like it should be about a day or about a month. Yeah, especially if you. Um, I can understand if you're on one day months. Yeah. Then, yeah, fair enough, they go quite quick. But if you're on two, yeah, three plus. Yeah, I guess. If you're on one. But even if you're on one day months, most stuff has at least a two month window for every job. Well, yeah, that's true, yeah. So, it feels to me like they should allow you a month to do the contract, and then, because it completes instantly when the computer does it, it should be like midnight of that first opportunity. Yeah. It then takes the contract away and does the job. Yeah. yeah you missed the cut-off, sorry, we're going to do it ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't seem to be the case. No. No, it's frustrating, but... Yeah. And if you like contracts, like some of the people on this chat do, it's yeah. really annoying. It is annoying. Very annoying. Then on... I think it's my next Calmston video. Yeah, it's the one that I've just 
finished editing, I think. Um, I had I grabbed the contracts at the end of the last one because they were there. So yeah. I'm not going to do them straight away, but I'm just going to take them and hold them until I do want to do them. Mm. Because otherwise they'll be gone. And, yeah. And I'm getting. I've done. I've, I've swapped from contracts plus to better contracts, and I seem to be getting a few more. Yeah, I've. Um, but I've not also. Yeah, I've just put in that one. There was an equipment one, wasn't it? I don't think it was. Was it dynamic? Yeah. Missions or something. You know, yeah. we were saying the other week about how I had the Zeri on appear with. Mm. I, I had that crop up yeah. on Carmsden today. Um, 480 bailing contract on one of the fields that I've added contracts to and it was it was the same it was the Zerion with the front mower yeah and that is a giant's thing I yeah think. yeah um, so one of my upcoming videos um, with better contracts you can define your own contract equipment oh uh, that is cool um, like I was talking about last week yep um, so I'm planning to do a guide to that so you know so that you and you can use it lets you bring mods in as well um, so you oh. can get fast bail on contracts and things like that um, and what I did in 19 is I basically overwrote all of the configs with configs for stuff that I liked yeah yeah, yeah. good um, idea so you know like when, when you get a bailing contract you normally you can normally get a bailer and a wrapper yeah. I changed it so every time you got a bailer wrapper so you didn't have to do two passes. Oh, I like it. Um, I changed it so that you always got a one of the bale stackers, so it was easy. Um, I think I added in more tractors so that you, you almost had a tractor per job. Um, oh, I see, rather than just one or two than, per yeah. head in, windrow in, baling. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. yeah, I mean, like the the last, the, the pay contract I did on Calmston where I was using a Fent 1050 to TED yeah um, that's just stupid <laughs> um, it's, yeah but it was mine it was mine yeah, so <laughs> yeah true but you know like a sugar beet contract get two sugar beet harvesters because the big fields on Calmston you don't want to do with one sugar beet harvester no no like I said before and same with same with spuds isn't it you know doing field yeah. one with one harvester Unless that massive cheaty one comes out with what was it, ten or twelve meter mm. header? <laughs> there is one of those out, I think. Is there? Yeah. Oh, there I'm, is. Bit, I'm getting behind on mods. Um, and I think in the in theory you could tell the game to use that because you can tell it to use mods with better contracts. Yeah. Oh. Um, but and also you can you could yeah you know, if you if you completely overrode it you could get it so it never gives you the tractor and the pull behind harvester. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could have it so for a small contract, you got you know like one of the Roper Sugar Beet harvesters, and then yeah. for a big contract, you got two of them. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, so and you could, you could do it probably as well. So you, if you had the the beet or you know you could get a beet auger and a lorry and a big trailer that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, that would be handy with the augers because at least you can be dumping can't you yeah yeah so i'm i'm gonna work through that'll be I'm, I'm doing about one tutorial video a week at the moment and that'll be next week next week's tutorial once i've done enough work to set it all up cool and i'll probably just release the data file to save people having to do it um yeah I setups that i like rather than setups that everyone would like but it'll show you how to do it as well so yeah yeah because i think people get nervous you know, mm. like especially with I hadn't realised that the um, you one you did on uh, contracts on Carmson yeah. would involve giants editing. I was like, Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> I, I think yeah, if if you just wanted to do the fields that I did on Carmson, you don't need to because all you yeah. need giants editor for is to get the field ID numbers. Yes, yeah, true, um, true. But no, and this one, it's from doing it on ninety. It's all Notepad++ stuff, but it's quite easy to make little mistakes. Yes. Um, because you're doing a lot of XML editing, and if you want to bring like your own configs of vehicles in, the best way of doing it is to go into the game on a test save, 
lease the vehicle you want so you can get all the settings you need from the XML file and then copy those into the other file. Yeah. Um, so it is fairly easy to make a mistake doing all of that, but um, I found it much more enjoyable doing contracts when you've got the kit you like using rather than the kit giants picked. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, especially for, uh, like you say, the big really involved contracts it's yeah you know, much yeah, better. I mean, yeah you know particularly you know like big big plowing or seeding contracts you could stick in some modded stuff and use that um, yeah it's uh and yeah i don't think contracts should be a chore just because you know giants have given you some random bit of kit that they've deemed to be appropriate <laughs> yeah yeah you should be able to config, like you said, so yeah. that'd be good. Um, and, you know, you might want to do different configs for different maps. You know, if you're playing a US map, you might want to change it so you get a bunch of US-style kit. Yeah. No, definitely, yeah. If you're on a... Ooh, that's interesting. I left a big pile of, of misfit. I guess that was where the, oh, the planter skipped. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to that one because I really enjoyed having, um, you know, back in in '19 it was bringing in the the Anderson DLC stuff again, so you could have the fast baler and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and swathing mowers. Um, yeah. Because unless unless you get the big M, I think with night with 22 that's less of an issue because the base game mowers swath. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. But in 19, they didn't. So you always got mowers and a wind rubber. It's like, right, just want to use the Kavernland nice ones. Yeah. Um, and so it's that, that kind of thing. It just makes it more enjoyable. Yeah, definitely. Like you say, it's it's playing how you want to play and not... Mm. And that customization is there, isn't it? Yeah, and you're not stuck to base game kit with this. You can bring in modded stuff so you know if you wanted to bring in i don't know if you're doing an american map and you want to bring in um custom modding's new planter and you know one of the modded quad tracks and that kind of thing you can yeah. if you want to you know if you want to use the uh the borgo stuff the giants have released or the seed hawk you can use all of that but yeah. it's not base game but actually suits where you're playing yeah, no, it's um, I haven't used the seed hawk and stuff yet, but and all the borgo, but it looks absolutely epic. <laughs> yeah, I've I've used the seed hawk on um, what map was I, I was playing on? Uh, one of the big American maps. I was just doing you know like fun and testing and stuff, and I used it to do a course play video as well, and. Uh, the map the save and I used the sea talk on that because the fields were massive um, and you need a lot of horsepower yeah yeah that's the thing isn't it yeah it's a uh, big old kit <laughs> yeah uh, and yeah, there probably aren't really any released maps that need it really yet or like officially you know like mod hub release maps there's a lot yeah. of PC only maps where you could use it uh, yeah absolutely yeah I mean I think when I was, was I doing? Oh, I was messing around on Elm Creek, I think, and I even then like ploughed a load of the fields together, and it's still not massive. Do you know? Like, it's not. We're not talking hundreds of acres per field. It's doable yeah. with base game. Yeah, stuff. it's. I think maybe this is the only this or. Um, no Man's Land are the only maps on console maybe where you could build those insanely large fields. Yeah. Or Greenlands, where you can take all the hedges out and you've yeah. got the, the wildlife area where I've made one big field. That is going to be... Um, I like the, the mega field, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my next job on there is to plant that. Yes. I'm look, I, I fertilised it today, um, which is a couple of videos away on Greenlands and uh, that wasn't too bad because I was using that slightly cheaty fertiliser spreader oh yeah yeah um, and I'm going to lease a big big planter to use on there but, um, oh it's got to be done it's, 
uh, where I've got the big John Deere tractor, I'll probably lease there's a nice big John Deere planter that goes with it. Um, I think that would be the way to go. I think you may well be right. <laughs> it's, I, I wanted to do a whole series of that kind of scale of farming, but I just don't have the kind of space to fit it in at the moment. So yeah, I know what you mean. That's scratching the itch of wanting to do large scale farming without yeah. it needing its own entire series. Yes. Every, yeah, yeah. No, every, it's having the time, isn't it? Yeah, every other video I can do something on that bit of the farm, and then I've got the normal farm as well, which is more sane to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, there will undoubtedly be maps released in the future that you can maybe get on and do that stuff full time, but. Yeah, it's just having the the time in the schedule, isn't it? Yeah, and you know, there's only so many days that you can release things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm much I'm much enjoying playing you know, playing the ones that I'm playing at the moment more often. I'm finding yeah. it's much more fun than playing a lot more different games less often. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Know what you mean? Um, yeah. And it must be the same for you with playing Carmston. A lot. you make progress a lot quicker yeah absolutely and I think you because these two series that we're you know that we're doing all, are completely different you don't get that mm. hmm, what was I doing what, what, yeah. when was I uh, trying to sell silage at a train oh no wrong <laughs> it's not yeah it's not I, like I, that at all at this point I've started making notes Have when to. I finish when I finish a video I make notes on what I think I, what I'm doing next um <laughs> Because it can be a week between yeah. times that I open them up, and uh, so yeah, I, I make notes because otherwise I tend to think I can't remember what I've got to do. I don't know whether I can be bothered to load it up. Yeah. I don't um, mean. Whereas if I know what I'm going on to do, it's yeah, you know, it's like right, go on, do that. Yeah, I um, yeah, I I try and of an evening get on for the next day and sort of think what I'm going to do and yeah. if I don't get a chance to do that I can spend a good half hour hour in the morning just thinking right what do I need to be doing and I'm not turned on there we go Love it. there yeah, we I'm probably go probably spending half the, half the evening doing contracts well yeah um, and just you know or, or just getting stuff in the right place so when I get a chance to record I'm not spending an hour yeah moving machines around or you know it's just little things like that but yeah the, the stuff that you don't want to do whilst you're recording yeah yeah exactly yeah I, I more often now I will just do all of it as part of the video yeah um, it's, it's it's again something we were chatting about on discord with um, Mr. CDP's survival type series where he did, you know, like a year's worth of work off camera almost, um, and suddenly jumped ahead between videos. Yeah. And I think that's it's a tricky balance, I think. Um, and I've gone uh, and uh, I've gone for the I'll just show every, almost everything, pretty much, um, because I find you know it's like oh between videos I've cut down half of the forest on Western Wilds and we have half a million pounds in the bank. Let's go yeah. buy a new tractor. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know whether it's... Uh, yeah, I'm torn. Because obviously, we've said before, he obviously does it all. He's a console player. He does absolutely Yeah, he does all the himself. work. I'd just like to see it. Yeah. But, you know? I don't know. Yeah, it's, I guess it's a mix, isn't it? And I'm missing stuff now. Um, of keeping a decent level of progress versus, like you say... We are now millionaires overnight, sort of thing. Mm. I get it, kind yeah. of, but yeah, it's. I, I th it's of, it works for him. Obviously, he's massively successful. Oh um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I am. I am nobody to judge how he creates things because he is very, very successful at it. It's his job. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just doesn't suit what I enjoy watching. I think no, is, no, no, no. is what I'm saying, and. Uh, you know, I, I, I prefer it when people have series that are 50 or 100 episodes long and I can get really engrossed in them, whereas he tends to do a lot less because he jumps around maps a lot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, 
yeah, I would. I mean, I was looking forward to is it fru fruiling? Yes. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, that, whether that's going to carry on with him or not, but yeah, yeah I, I, I only watched. I, I only watched a little bit of that. That was a bit narrative heavy for me. Hmm. Um, I the, the the series that I've enjoyed of his the most are the ones where he just plays the game how he wants to play it and does what he wants. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, but that the one he did where he was doing all the fast farming and stuff and just having fun. I really enjoyed that. Oh, what was that um, on? Yeah, um, it was the map that was full of cheaty stuff for console players. And I can't remember yeah. which one it was. Um, it was Some a of DJ. As well. Yeah, D DJ DJ Go, Go Ham Industries. Yes, that was it. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who the map was by. And no, he had a me. real battle with giants to keep some of that stuff in. Because the licensed stuff, the brands like it to be realistic, I yeah. think is the problem. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, I've got it again. So, but yeah, that I really enjoyed. His Atticum series I really enjoyed because a lot of that he was just playing farm sim and yep. chatting and... Um, it's when he, you know, when he's with like the Frolling series, it's like, oh, we've got to, rest we've got to restore the farm, and it's this working museum and all that kind of thing. I found that, you know, kind of hard work. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, I just like watching people play farm sim. It's the same. I, I can't watch people role play on farm sim. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's. I don't know. I think some. Some are better at it than others. We we'll leave it at that. Um, I'm empty, mate. If you want to go and get the worker. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I just don't enjoy it. Um, yeah. Now I know people love it when Dagoin does it. I've watched half an episode of Dagoin do do his roleplay stuff. Um, could not stand it. Um, I tried to watch VS one. Couldn't do it. Simulation yeah. for the nation. Couldn't watch his. It's like. Just play the game. Yeah, I think the only one that I've really enjoyed lately, and it was almost more cinema than farm sim, was um, the farm sim guys one on. Oh, what's the map? Um, I can't remember what the map's called. That's I, been a really I know the one. I, again, I didn't watch it because it was role play. Um, I watched. Yeah. I watched him do a stream after he'd finished the series and there was this whole thing with Argsy pretending to be someone in oh. comments and stuff, <laughs> um, which sounded like it was all probably quite cool. I just, I just don't enjoy the, that element of farm sim. Yeah, I think um, what I enjoyed about it was how it was put together. Rather, not The content was good, don't get me wrong, but it was how it was put together and... You know, watching him and Argsy on the TV in the in the cabin. Mm. He's you know. very, very clever and very creative, and Absolutely. some of it is because it's his job, and he's yeah. very good at his job. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's there's a reason why in two years he has forty odd thousand subscribers, and in the same amount of time, I have two and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, he's because he's he started doing farm sim at the same point that I did uh, okay um, in lockdown yeah because um, he had more spare time and yeah he's yeah. got 45,000 subs and is a giant's gold partner I think and all that kind of stuff yeah it's mad isn't it um, he's really good and his content is really good um, I, re I really I enjoy his normal stuff I really enjoy watching um, yeah I really enjoyed watching him struggle at the end of 19 with his realism series he did. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah. He didn't do very many of them, and they were they were marginally painful to watch, but it was really cool just watching him battle, you know, manual attach, and he was doing everything in cab. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was just amusing. It was, you know... There was no story. There was no, it was just him trying to play farm sim realistically. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, I try and do something up, and it's like oh, after a while you think, no, no, this is painful for me. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, never mind people watching. Yeah, I, I, I occasionally do little bits, but it's more because I think people like seeing it. 
rather than there are, there are very few jobs that are easier to do in a cab. That is true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you've got the right tractor and the right combination of something like a plough and you haven't got GPS, that can sometimes be easier in cab. Yeah. Because, uh, you, you know, you can place a bit, a bit of the tractor on the previous line and that works. Yeah, but manual GPS. Yeah. yeah, if you've got GPS, most stuff I think is easier and looks better out of cab. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely easier for me anyway. <laughs> That's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. Yeah, yeah. I, ultimately, I am going to play how I enjoy playing as well because yeah. this is my relaxation time. Yeah, you no, know? Uh, absolutely, completely agree. It is, you know, it's. Yeah, we don't get paid a great deal. Well, I don't get paid anything, and I, you know, you, you'll you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not. You know, we're not going to be millionaires from it, so you've got to enjoy no, it. And if you start no. playing how everybody else wants you to play, and it's just going to get tiresome very quickly. I think the problem as well is you can tell when people aren't enjoying what they're doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It becomes a slog for someone to play to make. A video because they think people will watch. I, I, I found it with. Um, I tried to do a, 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 what I was just saying about roleplay stuff. I tried to do a roleplay type series when I was doing time lapses. Okay, I found yeah. it really hard to do that, and in the end, I just stopped it early. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Because um, I, I was enjoying the playing farm sim bit. I wasn't enjoying all the stuff that I had to do around it. Yeah, I know you mean. Yeah. Um, And that's why now, it's like like with all the productions on Greenlands, which I'm slowly getting rid of because I'm just <laughs> yeah. not enjoying the extra work it involves. Yeah, I must yeah. admit that's you know that's why I've not gone down the route of having loads, but also just picking the ones that are a bit diff not a bit different because most people have done everything, but stuff that kind of fits in. I'm not going to do sugar because like well watching your Greenlands one and. Um, who else was it? Oh, Dagoin, with the one on Hovela on. But you know, I, I just I couldn't be doing with it. It'd be, it was like me in the brewery. After a while, that got really tiresome of having to shift those crates. So you set it yeah. to distribute and uh, not distribute, sell. Sorry. And yeah, I, I you lose out. <laughs> yeah, on Greenlands, I had to spend. I think that seen might have been in the video that came out yesterday. The day before yesterday, yeah, you were I just had to spend like ten minutes shifting pallets, yeah, um, because it was getting full. Yeah. And as soon as that, that thing's got about a hundred thousand liters left to process, and as soon as it's done, it's being sold. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the and the only downside is that the chocolate pays really well. That's coming out of the dairy. Mm, uh, yeah. But you know, I can live without that, or I'll buy sugar if I really want to do that. Oh, yeah. Just Cheaty, cheaty spawn a few pallets. Don't tell anyone, mate. I'm, I'm sure there's a way of buying it. Yeah, um, there is. So, if I really want to do it, I'll just buy some. So, uh, yeah, because you can. There's the buy production input mod, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure there's you know there's there's packs now with pallets for almost everything. So well, uh, and that, yeah, yeah. We are hammering through this job much quicker than I thought it's um yeah it's going quite well isn't it really we are now 36 minutes recording ish so 38 so yeah must be two thirds of the way through the field easily I'd say yeah yeah pretty much looking at the map it feels uh, a lot faster than five mile an hour as well yeah Daft as that sounds have a, have a check in a minute and see what's in the silo I just seem to be endlessly running between the two of you and the silo, so I've lost count of how many loads I've tipped. Yeah, I can't help you there. I haven't count, been counting either. We've got a quarter of a million litres in the silo at the moment. You may. It's good going. Yeah. We might actually get a shorter video this week then. Crikey. We might, I might, and I might even be able to leave it in us chatting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who knows? 
it's not going to be a five minute time lapse video of harvesting. No. <laughs> um, 660 pounds per thousand litres. Good indeed. So, I, uh, I think I might be about on for my guess. Yeah, it's uh, definitely on track. Yeah, I'm going to need to, between videos, have a look for a cheap lorry and trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it might be worth having a uh, having a scout around, definitely. Yeah, I know there, there are usually loads of cheap lorries about, because a lot of the modders that don't put them on Mod Hub quite often make them dirt cheap. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Um, or I might just get a big trailer with the dolly. No, I can't have a dolly trailer for saying because I need to back it up to the auger. Yeah, fair point. Because otherwise it's going to take me hours to sell this stuff. Uh, I reckon you should just bite the bullet and get a sugar mill. No, <laughs> no. You're only saying that because that means all my sugar bit will be stuck in the sugar mill for a year. Yep. <laughs> Nefarious tactics. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't even edit it behind your back. <laughs> no, because I have to load it in and update yeah. it. <laughs> Look at this really cool mod I found. Oh, no. <laughs> this genuine, legit, really cool sugar mill mod that I found. Oh, <laughs> that produced, that processes the whole thing overnight and doubles the amount of sugar you get. Yeah. That'd be quite handy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe against the uh, fair play rules. Have we got any fair play rules? No, I think that might have gone out the window. <laughs> yeah, not really. Uh, when bits of kit start vanishing. <laughs> oh, don't. I was laughing so much watching your video. <laughs> oh, I was dear. not laughing so much watching yours. <laughs> I was quite impressed that I managed to keep on holding a conversation with you. And yeah. move that, and not. That, that was quite impressive, but uh, not mess I was all. not impressed watching you. Uh. No, I, I had to edit out a couple of bits from. Uh, I think the next two videos where I was talking about that. <laughs> Why? Um, because the phrases I was using might have triggered the uh, YouTube algorithms. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I, I, I'll tell you when we've finished recording. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I've done it as a subtitle. This is what he said about me. <laughs> no, well, you can, but <laughs> no, I won't it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not something that I would say verbally on a video because... Uh, You'd get told yeah. off by YouTube. Yes. And not because it's swearing. Oh. Uh, Gen genuinely, I thought I was going to need three of these harvesters to get this done in a sensible amount of time. It's, I can't believe, I mean, oh, we have been, we're probably going to take, what, an hour maybe? But, yeah, yeah. it's good going. I'm, uh, I'm not so bothered now that I've brought one, because I think it's vaguely achievable that I can just leave a worker harvesting a field with one of these. Seems, yeah, get do a job done. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know, it's it's not it's a very it's a very open map, isn't it? You aren't got to worry yeah. about walls and whatnot. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can just do a headland where you need to, yeah. and then yeah, jobs are good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, as I was saying, I, I want to turn this these two bits into one field. Um, so keep the field that's got soybeans in it as a field, and then have this site has one big field because I think yeah. any more than two is just going to be a pain to deal with yeah I think you're right kind of, you want one field growing and one field harvest yeah exactly yeah 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 you I think that's the, the way to operate Definitely. yeah because I mean, you know, crops grow in two days yep so you plant it one day it has a day of doing nothing and then you can harvest it <laughs> yeah and so it's kind of you, you you harvest and plant on one day the next day you fertilize it and then the day after you harvest it 
and, and the then day rinse you and repeat. It, yeah, yeah, and the day you fertilise it, you want to be harvesting your other field. Yeah. So. So I like this faster pace. Mm. I was just saying that in, I think it was in either my Calmston or Greenland's video, that it's really, it's so different. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, I, I, I am really tempted to do a series a bit like it. I sort of did it on um, Stone Valley in 19. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't anywhere near as fast as this. Um, no, I don't even mean, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's just two hours a week or whatever it is mm. it, that we do of just, not like we're mucking about, but just playing how you want to play and. Yeah. Yeah, and good. completely different to how both of us normally play. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And ne neither of us are mega realistic, as we've just spoken about with you putting full bags of fertilizer inside full fertilizer spreaders. <laughs> yep. But, you know, we both kind of play with seasons on and do stuff semi somewhat with, a, with, a, with, a, with half an eye to realism. Yeah, with a, with a nod, with a nod to uh, yeah, realism. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think How's one of your, my um, go on, sorry. One of my favourite sites is still you uh, driving down the road on the the French multiplayer we did for a little bit with a full fertiliser spreader, the full front box, and two or three bags of fertiliser hanging off the front loader. Yes, that was an, that was uh, one of my better and, moments. And then driving around the field like it until you fell over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, until I can't remember what happened. I think it was lag. I'm going to say it was lag. Yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, the bags flew off the front, and then had to try and hook them back on. But it, it wasn't yeah. the crazy high centre of gravity that you had. No, 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 not at all. Um, what happened at this bit here? The seed bounced. I think the planter bounced. I think because it's the the nine metre rigid planter. Oh yeah. Um, it, they occasionally bounce, and that's pretty much what happened there. I think it might have hit that pile of straw and bounce. Oh, uh, okay. Let you off. That sounds like sounds very plausible. Yeah, because it's a direct planter, so it just it just went straight in after the barley crop. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. It's a, a direct one. Yes. Although I, might, I think I'm going to need to plough this afterwards, so I might have to buy myself another plough. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, but you will actually root crop, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I might be able to go slight the next size up now with the extra oh, 25 horsepower. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. How's your new toy? It's very nice. Is it? It's Does very it nice. Smell new. Getting, yeah. Well, no, because it was used. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, it smells new to you. Yeah, they thankfully took out all of the empty sandwich packets and cans of Monster. <laughs> it's really nice not having to wait for it to change gear. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Although I did see, where did I see it? Oh, it was on, um, I'm sure it was on a Larson's Farm episode. They've got um, one of the internationals. Or something very, very similar. I'm sure it was an international that we had started with. So yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't ever seen it before. I think they were looking at one of the sheds after either one of the storms that had appeared or happened. Sorry, yeah. appeared. Um, so I, yeah. I was browsing mod sites yesterday for old case tractors, and uh, I, I was looking at the. At this uh, old case tractor by Julian F. Modding, thinking that looks really nice, and then I realised it was the one that we have. <laughs> that looks ever so familiar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looks really well modelled. I wonder which. Oh, it's on Giants. Oh, that's why I know which. I don't know what it is. Because we've got it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still looking for a a nicely modelled older case that's got a, an open cab with a front loader on it. Um, and I've not found one that's a nice looking mod that's not, you know, a bit dodgy. <laughs> yeah, throws up errors every time you use it. Yeah. yeah. So. 
and the one the one that I used in nineteen was not the cleanest in the world. I think it was a convert from seventeen. But um, yeah, that's, that's that's the only thing with that Alice Chalmers is it's it's a much better gearbox, and obviously it's a little bit more powerful. But it just it's doesn't. Finished. Yeah, it needs a little bit of finessing. Yeah, FSG's using it on his new series, I think, isn't he? Where oh, is he? I haven't watched that yet. Yeah. yeah. He does like F a yeah, an Alice Chalmers, so doesn't he? I think he's using the two-wheel drive version rather than the four. I think ours is the four, isn't it? Or yours is the four. I've, I've returned the least one that I had. Are you full? I am indeed, yes. Yeah, sorry. I'll I'll probably has it on. It's okay. I should have probably come to you first rather than the uh, worker. It's okay, it's okay. I know my place. Yep. Behind a piece of AI. Well, it's not even AI, is it? <laughs> Come on, keep up. Behind a very simple bot. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know if he's done two episodes. The first episode is, is an interesting series. It's unusual for him because he, he's worrying about money limits. Okay, is it's on Middleburg, isn't it? I need to. Yes. There's been days this week, well, and the weekend, where I've just not had time to you know mm. sit and watch anything, and then you sort of prioritise who you watch, and yeah, fortunately, that's one of the ones I'm gonna have to go back to at some point. But yeah, yeah, and no, I've, I've been pro I've been watching more real farming lately than farm mm. sim. So. Yeah. It's a busy time of year, though, isn't it? Definitely, especially yeah. In, well, yeah, with all the, the, the hay and silage going on and stuff. I've been watching a lot of Joe Seal since he had his barn fire. Yeah. Um, and Ollie Bloggs and uh, Millennial Farmer since he had the storm. Yeah, it's it's funny how tragedy makes you watch. Oh, yeah. Come on, worker. And, I've uh, I didn't realise I don't know how recent it is, but Millennial Farmer has his like ten year old kid working on the farm driving an eight eight series John Deere. Yeah. It's like that's meant he was driving it down the road. Well, you know, down you the farm to, tracks. You need to go back to probably last year's harvest and he's running the grain cart. Yeah. The sixty thousand bushel grain cart with eight RT tractor, maybe I think it was something like that. that. But yeah, it's like it's just uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then he's running the yeah. Land Roller, or yeah. And, but it's just like uh, I, you know, I've got him set up. I'm just going to go off now and do something else somewhere completely different, and not even be able to see him. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's. Yeah. Um, It's just, yeah, it's. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> you know, you would think. Yeah, I'm I mean, jealous. Be, uh, as a ten-year-old, um, although my dad was with me, I was sailing his thirty-odd foot trimaran, pretty okay. much on my own. Um, you know, it's not quite the same value as a, uh, you know, half a million pounds worth of tractor, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's very. Yeah. Uh, it's good to watch. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I, I used to watch my nail farmer a lot, and then I kind of drifted away. I it tends to happen. I tend to drift away from them for a bit, and then yeah. the uh, the storm brought me back, and I'm really enjoying watching the stuff again. The uh, you know, getting all the crops in the ground and stuff. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I think I was talking about this the other day with someone, and some people, no matter what they do. As soon as the as soon as the video comes on, the the, the like button gets hit. Do you know like they don't yeah. do not bad videos, but you know there's always something yeah, enjoyable. Know, and, and when he I was on, and he was on about John Deere and the planter, and he's then looking out the window, and goes, "Oh, there's a red one over there. I wonder how much they want for that sort of thing." Yeah, he's, he's entertaining to watch whatever yes. he's doing, and that's yeah. why he's popular. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think it's you know like the same we were saying with FSG. It's why he's popular. He's and he's really entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just some people like that. Yeah, they can do no wrong. But 
want to blow too much smoke somewhere but yeah it's it's yeah. always uh, fun to watch yeah and uh, i suspect some of that is that they they are really you know charismatic people yeah Axe videos probably you know you may only see i don't know half of the footage he records as his wife edits it into something that's entertaining yeah maybe maybe she's the real star for having to uh no. put the bleeps in sometimes and, and whatever else yeah yeah, there is an element of having a good editor probably helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do you know one? <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I know, um, oh, you've got that. Pays for an editor for his videos. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I think more from a time point of view. Yeah. Not um, yeah, how how that works with you know, how much he makes off of YouTube I don't know but um, yes um, yeah he, he has someone edit his videos and I, th I think that was more because he was too busy to uh, to record and edit and he because he went sort of full time YouTube at one point okay, and then, I, then he got a, a, a day job again yeah Yeah, it's um, yeah. I've seen a few who else has I've been watching or watch a bit of. Um, oh, Pastag. I'm sure they get theirs edited as well. But not surely not there's got to be I think, Montana, I think. Mm. Um, but they've got they. I mean, they've got a massive Borgo um, drill air car and yeah. drill, it's huge. Um, but surely, oh, I missed a bit. Surely there's got to be just as much time in watching it back and telling them how you want stuff to look as doing it yourself. That's what I've I always guess kind you of thought. probably don't know. You probably just say, here's all the footage, make a cool video. Yeah, and have the trust in them that they would. Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to do that. No, that would be my problem. Because they'd be keep coming back to me going, what, what are you doing here? And I'd be yeah. like, oh yeah, cut that bit out. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd be like, here's the footage, here's exactly how you're supposed to put it together. Yeah, yeah, I'd be the same. I'd be exactly um, the same. I am a complete control freak with that kind of stuff, and yeah. so it's. Uh, I'd be like, yeah, like, it's just I'll, I'll just do it myself. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's easier. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, it, it's been interesting at work getting used to having people doing things. Yeah. Just after many many years of being, you know, I was basically responsible for myself when I did all of the work that I needed to get delivered and yep. now have a team of like three people and just spend my time making sure they're doing things rather than just doing it and sometimes I would just be I had a few incidents when I was starting to have other people do stuff and you'd ask them to do something and I would just leave them to do it and you'd come back to look at it a month later and go no they've done it wrong <laughs> so I should have just done it myself give it here I'll do it myself yeah, yeah. And yeah, you know, some of that was me being really bad at explaining to people how to do things. There is that, um, yes. I fully admit that. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it's like I should have just done it myself. I, you know, it would it would have taken just as long for me to do it myself the first time. In fact, it would have been quicker for me to do it myself the first time than to go through checking to find what wasn't done right. You mean? And, and, you know, ultimately, it's worth it because you, know, you have more people in the end that can do stuff for you. But yeah. I can't believe that we are pretty much done. In I've been going for an hour and fifteen minutes. I might yeah, not even I think need to I'm edit about this. the same. To be fair, yeah, I'm just going to check uh, check levels and yeah. Uh, so I need to get a bit down the bottom and then I'm done. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, and empty the trailer and tidy up what the workers lay. Okay, oh, it's, yeah, it's gone quick, hasn't it? I am still surprised how quick it's gone. Yeah, 360,000 litres. Blimey, very good. I'm pretty pleased with that. There's another 42 litres for you here. 
file. And then I'll need to return whichever one is least. Yeah, the other has got 1.3 mm. hours on it. So there you go, that's how long we've been going. Yeah. It's 1.2, so. One load. You can empty. I should probably empty the other one, because I've still got 1,000 litres in it before I return whichever random one is least. Yeah. And I don't think there's any bits bits. Well, you've got one anyway to keep, haven't you? You're, uh... No, the map is all clear. Excellent. Right. Looks like you've got stuff to harvest next time when we come back and do a proper video. Yes, yeah, I clocked that earlier. Looking forward to that. Ah, it was that one. There we go. Ah, cool. That's good. Yeah, I, w I kind of wish I hadn't brought that one by mistake, but it's not the end of the world. So what was what it? How much was it to lease? Uh, two and a bit thousand. Oh, yeah. I was going to say maybe it'll pay off, but no. <laughs> Versus 45 to buy. So, yeah. You did have GPS there, I suppose, didn't you? Yeah, I might actually keep the leased trailer to sell it. I might just put the expan extensions on it. Yeah, I could show. Wait on because you know what you could do you could see if the base game worker would do it oh uh, it won't yeah. it's going into the auger isn't it? it it will drive it down there it won't yeah. sell it no that's a fair point yeah i think that was pretty darn successful it was indeed All right. thank you very much for your for your efforts today i i didn't actually get to drive one of the harvesters for more than the three headlands but I'll be back You've in a second. Hold on. Oh, you're. Yeah, I'm you're just. Um, there we go. I'm in your ah. massive. I'm have, I Very can't. Uh, for some reason, it does weird things when um, I leave a vehicle. I can't get then get back into. Uh, the you've got super view. strength turned on. No, I don't think I have actually. Okay, because that norm that normally does mess stuff up. Um, well, actually, uh, while we're on, I'm going to remember to get rid of your contractor rights. Yeah, fine. Be like that. And just so that we don't forget for next time and get confused as if things are being weird. Yeah, when I start selling my product and it goes to you. Yeah, we don't need that, thank you Ooh, very much. Yeah, that, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, that, track, that abandoned Alex Chalmers over there got towed away and locked up. Oh yeah, that needs moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's been fun. Some shed doors and lock the doors. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, stick a, yeah, get a padlock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. Thank you for your help today. Not uh, a problem at all. A and, moderately um, sensible length. Yes, I was going to. That's what she said. Um, and that's the first real cheesy, corny, silly joke, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, we could actually say that we may have actually made a shorter video today. Definitely. And uh, cool. next video we'll carry on with today with normal service being resumed. Yes, yes, we will indeed. Yep, yeah, speed the time back up. Yeah, Make same time cash. next week. Sounds like a plan. See you then. Catch you later, mate. Bye. Bye. Well, as we uh, take our tractor back to our farm, I think Carl's there say farewell um it's been a bit different i enjoyed that nice to uh help each other out every now and again although uh the competition is heating up so i'll say bye for now and uh hope you enjoyed the episode if you did leave a like if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time on the western wilds take care